Hello and welcome to the first anniversary of the Tips, Tricks, and Oops podcast. I am Therese Scorn, and to my right is... Eston Talavera. And to my left Sanford is... Sanford Alexander. And we have a studio audience with us today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you to the four I people I hope they that didn't bring vegetables and fruit. Oh yeah, we might be in trouble if <laughs> they did. And we're just doing a quick little podcast today to have some fun and just review a little bit what we had our plans for when we started this podcast. Sanford, do you remember what our goals were when we started this thing? Yes, I do. And and actually, uh, I think we could sum it up in two. The first was we didn't want to necessarily be a tutorial because there's lots of those that are available to folks. But we did want to be able to help make assistive technology less intimidating than it sometimes can be. And we discovered, which is part of what led to the getting together, we discovered that a lot of times talking through things that we ran into in the real world with apps we were using, we ran into problems, which was the oops, which led to finding solutions for them, which is the tips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the tips were very often involved with little tricks that you wouldn't necessarily think about. So what we wanted to do today was kind of demonstrate uh, a couple of games, because assistive technology has always relied very heavily on playing games to assist in mastering assistive technology skills. That's right. So, Eston, I think you brought a game to I play with? Yes, I did. And thank you, Sanford. Um, my game is called Moxie. It's a word game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top of the screen. Word. Capital R. Score. Capital R. And we're going to find this capital R. And so I, what we have is a grid of five cells and there are three rows. So there are three, it's a three by five grid. So I'm going to put the R in cell 11. 30, 21, 11. So here's 11. I put it there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and look for the next letter. Verizon Network, 12. Oops. Box, best word, capital R. Score, capital R. I got, 31. look at me, another R. I'm going to place that. And your goal is to create words. And I've not had very much luck. Here Zero. is capital Q. Um, a capital Q. Now, what I'm going to do with the capital Q Menu. Pass. is I'm going to pass it. Pass. And I'm not going to use it. So there are a lot of different options you can do with this game. Your point is to make words, though. And the more words you make, the higher the score you get. You can use it to practice double tapping. And if you have people who are having issues double tapping, then that this would be a game to try and help that. So that's that game. Um, it's a little overview of the game. It's free um, on iOS. And I think, Sanford, yep. um, were we going to you next for, for, uh -huh. for another game? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the next what's, one. What's, what's your game? What's well, your my, game? my game is Minesweeper. Mm -hmm. oh, it right. also is available free on iOS. In my game, we're looking for spatial orientation and how one place is related to another and how you navigate it. We're, we're working with a grid of 25 squares, 5 by 5. There are three mines hidden randomly in that grid, and your object of the game is to either identify where all three of them are, or identify all the empty squares, leaving those three mine, those three fields empty. When you make a mistake, you blow up. Um, if we go to the top of the screen, A1 is unknown, which means we don't know what's there. If we use the voiceover command, two fingers swipe down. A one unknown. B one unknown. C one unknown. D one unknown. E one unknown. A two unknown. B two unknown. C two unknown. B two unknown. E two unknown. A three unknown. Now B3 that's unknown. C. that's just reading the grid, and we know that it's reading it standard left to right. So it's the top left corner is A one. A three unknown. A two unknown. A one unknown. And if we move our finger one at a time, we can move unknown. over. C one unknown. So if we wanted to start, now the object of the game in the first move is a deadly one because the mine could be anywhere and you've got a very good chance of hitting it the first time. Let's go. C4 
to C3 unknown. To C3, which is the middle square in the grid, and you double tap it. C3 unknown. C319. And that told us that there, we didn't blow up, and there's one mine, which means in the eight squares around C3, one of them has a mine in it. The other seven are empty. So if we go to C4 unknown. B3 unknown. A3 unknown. A3, which is two squares away. A3 unknown. A319. That says there's one mine. And it could be all the way around. Now I'm gonna try and find the mine. B4 unknown. B4 unknown. And there we go. Oh. So it gives us a chance to move left, right, up, down your, your control. You're using your iOS commands when you want to read the whole screen to get an overview of the picture. Uh, and it, it forces you to try to, by calculation, by deduction, figure out which of those are safe squares. That's the game. Okay, Therese, you brought one. I brought one, and my game is for Two, the six. frustrated <laughs> consumer. <laughs> And it's called Smack Me. <laughs> <laughs> it works kind of like Bop It, the old Bop It games that you used to have. Oops. It is not loading. Let's try that again. All right. I got a peek at it here. Get it to go. I'll play it a little bit here. There we go. demonstration on what you can do to play the game. It's just a little bit like Bop It. It, it seems in all three of our games they, they all have slightly different emphasis but what mm -hmm. we're trying to do are take elements of learning how to control your computer or your phone mm -hmm. and get to learn how to do what you want to do mm -hmm. in a way that's sort of fun. All right well yeah. if you have a comment leave a comment in the comment box. If you can have I a friend tell them to watch. Yes. And thank you, studio audience, for joining us today. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Tips, Tricks, and Oops. I'm Therese Gorin. And this is, on my right, Esten Tolliver. And on my left, Sanford Alexander. And have a great one.